I happen to be driving down this road and, and a few times here I've I've kept mentioning the Cheyenne Delta where the, the Cheyenne Valley runs out into the red. Now this, we're up on the Cheyenne Delta. I'll give you a little chick bag that porn. But if you look down that way, you see how the road drops down? That's the old Lake Agassiz River bottom, the Red River Valley. And what we are on is a delta. And right at the bottom of the hill is the bridge that crosses over the Cheyenne River. But all this is, is sand that was washed in when the glaciers were melting. And that down below is one big flat plain made out of silt they carried out in there. Okay, this is down where the river, where the road crosses the river. But looking back toward that big hill, you can see now, see that was the shoreline of Lake Agassiz. And we got plenty of swallows. And the Cheyenne River looks, you know, relatively quiet now, but it's been over the top of this bridge before. Oh, and we got a family of ducks, because I can't get a better view of them. <laughs> nice little herd. But these swallows all live under the bridge, and then also they live in the sandbanks along the river. But it's a nice river, it's a clean river, you know, and, and by now, I mean, most of the sand has dropped out, so it's just carrying the silt that'll go down into the valley. Yeah, these swallows don't like me being here. Okay, when I showed that old shoreline before, you know, I don't know how well that shows up on the camera, but you can see that damn thing, you know, it's a steep hill, and it just rises out of nowhere, it's like a wall. But that is the edge of the valley. And we're about a mile away from it. Okay, here we're at a different bridge, but I was going to mention this only because of, though you see the, the valley here goes, well, you can't see all the way up the hill, but it goes from there all the way over to that hill over there. That's the Cheyenne River Valley. Now, this is about as narrow as it gets. You know, you're looking at about, well, a half mile. At one time, this was in the 60s, they were bound and determined they wanted to put a dam in here and flood this whole damn valley all the way back for about 20 miles to use it for flood control. And at that time, they were going to put a dam in just a little ways over that way about oh, three quarters of a mile and flood this whole area in here. And in the 60s then they finally come to the conclusion that, well, okay, it's too sandy, you'd never be able to hold it. So then now, two years ago, I saw they had changed their plans and they were actually planning on doing it just about a half mile over here. And, like I say, that plan could still be in the works. I tell you, you can't, you know, if the government had more money than they do, they'd be up to more mischief than they are. They got a lot of plans. You just got to make sure they don't have the money to do them. Okay, when I said about they were going to, you know, they had thought about making a lake back here, and like I say, they're still planning on it. Okay, the valley varies from like two to five miles in most places. So every time there's a narrow spot, they start thinking, ah, damn. But right here, it's about two, maybe three miles across. You can see where the highway goes up on the other side. In fact, that's my cell phone tower there. But they really would like to do it for flood control, but also another aspect they keep looking at is recreation. I tell you, there's nothing spookier to me than the, the thought of having a recreational lake right next to me, because I live on, on this side of the valley. It really wouldn't uh, affect me so much. I would have two little bays come into my property, but the last thing I want is to be living by a recreational area.
But like I say, as long as they don't have money, we're safe. And it'd be a lot harder to do now. There's a lot more people living in the valley than there was in the 60s. And really, it's not a good place for putting a dam in. Like I say, it's all sand. And if you put that pressure on there from a dam, you're going to have springs blowing down into the Red River Valley all over the place. Be hard to hold her.